Howdy folks. It's about noon on Sunday. July, who knows, 30th maybe. Uh, you can see the creeks back down almost, almost down to its original level. It's still a little bit high. And uh, let's see what we did this weekend. First of all, our neighbor's dog, a big mastiff size dog, loves to come in and use this property as his toilet. And everything I put up, he's broken through. So this time I put up our last cattle panel we had. And let's see him break through this. I have not mowed yet. This property has not been mowed in over two weeks now. Um, I'm waiting for it to dry out as much as possible. Okay, there we go. You can see his path. He comes through. He loves coming through that path. So I put that post in the ground about a foot and a half. And I got the smaller ones on the ends. Yeah, I break through that. I cut some of these lower branches down so we could drive through. Deb wasn't happy about that because now she can see into their property. Um, she likes... She likes it when she sees nothing but green. All right, so back here we, uh, because I haven't been around for two weeks to do any trimming or mowing, this wall of plants here went nuts, stretched over and into the garden and touched the electrical fence. So we put this fence up to block it. And hopefully that'll keep that from happening again. So, I mean, these things were all over and down onto the wires. So we did that. Trimmed around the thing for mowing. I really should get inside and trim. The grass is long in there, too. Scarecrow looks good. Here comes the wife. I'm gonna take him around and show him the shed and then I'll come in the garden and you can explain what's going on. So, trimming was a problem back here on the sides and especially with all the uh, rolled up chicken wire we had laying around. So what we did is we made a basically a shelf. You can see it down, down in there. On cement blocks there get it up off the ground so now I just have to move this this white stuff in the barrel and I can trim around there real easy we made another shelf over here to keep all this bag stuff up off the ground mulch and whatnot so that should keep things neatened up and we put the last of the hay down and straw or whatever it is to keep the weeds from growing so we'll see how that goes all right, Mom. <laughs> so, the biggest thing that happened lately was uh, last week. This happened. Yeah, we think a deer must have jumped the fence and laid down on it. Yeah. Looks awful comfy. It wasn't as bad last week, and it's worse this week. So, I thought it was maybe a raccoon at first. Maybe the fence isn't, the electrical isn't working so great because of the little things that go on or whatever grass hitting it or whatever but anyway some of these necks are broke so I think yeah. I'm gonna pull them if you want to zoom in I mean they're pretty big some of them you know they're not too bad you're kind of Here's, in the shade oh, yeah I got my okay. shadow in there okay, so, yeah. Yeah. so they're not horrible I wanted to wait uh, another looks... couple weeks <laughs> but I don't want them to rot because the neck is broken I don't know what that's gonna do to it so yeah. I'm gonna haul that and we move the uh camera here so we can capture whatever's coming in here hopefully we'll see how that goes i had a we pumpkin down here i had to rip out because i had uh, bugs yeah <laughs> vine borer bug or something so that was a loss that's 
Uh, my potatoes are gone. I still have onions. You see these? These are doing good. Yeah. You know. All along here. These are doing good. Alright, so these pitiful peas are just old pitiful seeds. They aren't doing so great. But look at that. These hey. are my volunteer tomatoes that I didn't know what to do with and found a spot. They've got a lot of blossoms on them. Right here, yeah. I just planted beets next to these tomatoes so that'll be a fall crop get them in get them out just before the frost hopefully yeah. Yeah, um, igor's guardian <laughs> every once in a while sophie goes ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i uh peppers are looking pretty decent i harvested a nice red one that was bug eaten but you know some bananas down here you're finally starting to do something yeah i had to thin them out and i had slugs so to pull all the straw out because there's too much moisture down there. And we harvested a nice big squash and ate it last night. And I got a little baby one right here. A yellow squash. And then these things just keep getting bigger. And this is <laughs> the big spaghetti squash. Another one. And a couple more there. And that's about it for now. Mm-hmm. I can't really find any more fruit flowers. Maybe next week. These are the last of the potatoes I'll be harvesting. I was going to harvest them this week, but it rained three inches. Kind of wet down there. I'll just wait. Uh, volunteer Swiss chard from last year. And these tomatoes. Ah, tomatoes are looking really good. This red one over here, finally. And red one over there. Yeah. And, and go slow down and look at all that. Yeah, there's a lot. See all the cherries? Lots. Lots of cherries. And we got a big, gigantic pumpkin down here. Yeah. That thing's huge. The variety's called the boss. Well, I mean, it looks like a, a, a normal sized pumpkin now. I guess it's going to get bigger. Uh, <sighs> Ross, check this out. Some of these are, stocks are doing pretty good. You gotta get down here and look. Yeah. You see? Yep. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Yeah. That was a nice one. I don't think I'm gonna grow them again, though. If I do just a couple, they just take too long. I don't have the patience. <laughs> well, the beans look like they're doing good. They're getting up there. Yeah. So, uh, Deb wants to raise the uh, yeah, cattle panel there. up another foot next year. Back here. Yeah, we got a whole nother thing of tomatoes in the back side. And, and they're doing really here. Yeah, Yay. there's another one. <laughs> I had to pull all the leaves. They were starting to touch the electrical wire. Yeah. So I'll have to switch that up next year. So that's uh that's pretty much it. That's what we did this weekend and I still gotta mow. I'm just waiting for the uh, grass to dry. It's been so wet. Uh, in fact, right here, between these onions and the asparagus, this was all one gigantic puddle when we got here. So this is a low spot. All the way out to about here. Oh, yeah. All right. We're kind of packing up, and then uh, Deb's going to leave, and I'm going to mow as much as I can. And then I'm going to take off, too. So that's going to be it for this weekend and then next weekend I got the guys coming down for all the nephews and my brother and son and coming down for a game weekend where we play board games and drink beer and sit around a campfire and have fun for once. So until next time guys, we'll check you on the flip side.